Next, a new blade purchase that I have made in the recent past is the new Cold Steel Coban. And it's not this one, this is the regular one. This is from the good old Cold Steel. This is this one. The C-rated blade Coban. 40 something dollars on Amazon, link below. Over there below, below the video if you want to buy one. And it is going to be my affiliate link. So if you purchase from that link, I get to earn something uh, like a few cents. Two percent, I think, is the rate, which is completely unimportant for this video. But I would appreciate if you do so, if you purchase things from Amazon using my affiliate link. Now, this is the box this thing came in. This is the new Cold Steel logo. This is OS 8A Steel. Eh. Okay, kind of okay. Weighs 4.4 ounces and 3.5 millimeter thin blade. Is it the same thickness as the old Cold Steel? Carbon, most likely. These are the two blades side by side. Regular blade, serrated blade. And we can even see the two different cold steel symbols at the same time. If I can catch the lighting at the same moment. It looks to be the same. Mm. I do get the feeling that the handle is slightly thinner on the new Kovan. That is to my hand. I don't know why. You can see that the blade is different. And if you look at the blades, and I'm going to zoom in, that the geometry of the blades are different. You see how it narrows on the regular carbon and how it almost stays same width on the back on the top part of the new carbon blade. Also the tip, and I'm not going to use Japanese terminology because honestly I'm too tired to remember it right now. The tips are also slightly different. And it does feel that um, the machining is different as well. As you can probably see. The new one looks to be a little bit rougher, possibly. Or it may be a result of me testing it. That is not impossible. No, it is actually the way this thing was made. The blade itself otherwise look almost exactly the same. Being basically almost the same blade other than the serration on serrated blade. They're both made in Taiwan. And other than that, very similar. Again, the benefits of a serrated blade is ability to go through some materials much easier and longer than the non-serrated one. And of course it comes extremely sharp, directly from the factory. Now I have to clean up a little bit. Admittedly, a non-serrated blade will keep doing the same and can get a sharper cut, but it will dull faster as well. Let me zoom back out, because that is no longer necessary. On power cuts, which I cannot show, I was just doing them f for the fun of it. Both of them work very simil similarly. It does take more effort to put serrated blade through, and it doesn't cut as cleanly as the regular blade, because both of them are extremely sharp. And I did not sharpen either of them. This one is still original sharpening back from years ago. 
even though I do use it every once in a while for different purposes. But I think this will go better through resisting target, as in resisting material, not that the target will resist itself. That's a whole different conversation that is not part of this channel. But belts, rubber, elastic materials might get cut by serrator more because it simply catches onto it and cuts through the serrator versus the regular blade. Well, who am I telling this? I'm sure you all know about this at least as much as I do if you are watching this video, since you might have seen it from the name. So, is it worth the price? I would say so. It's inexpensive. This could be a good car knife or a backup knife for the basic hiking chip, very basic hiking chip, where you don't need real hiking knife. Could be. That's about it. I'm going to put the link to this knife on Amazon below. And if you're interested in the gloves, these are the new, or new for me, mechanics vent, specifically for hot and humid climate, just like Florida. And I'm testing them. 0.6 millimeter thick venting and my hands are even in this heat feeling fairly comfortable on this note thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video